Stacy. Um, tough call. Subtle reasons. Not sure exactly what they are. It's time, and he's a little too condescending towards us ladies. Moo! Just a step above a cow. Moo! I am not really employing any strategy. I'm going voting for Colleen today. I love her. She's cute, adorable, and nice to look at and fun to have around. But she's the first in a long list of alphabetical order. And uh, she won't get another vote from me unless she pisses me off or something. But it's her turn today, being the first. Alphabetical order. First time for paranoia. Second time for irritation. And third time because my ear infection is clearing up. Good night, sweetheart. Yeah, it's time to go. No more competition. Talk to you later, Greg. Bye-bye. I was for Rich. Because the longer Rich is on his island, the bigger of a threat he becomes to me taking that million dollars. So I figure if I get rid of him now, everybody else will be cake. So uh, happy birthday, Rich. Eliminating a big muff. My brother is for Sean. And Sean has made a huge mistake in not seeing that Tiger had an alliance from day three on this island. And he couldn't even see anything happening. So for a smart guy, he has no common sense, no brains in his head, really, when it comes down to it. So Sean really deserves his vote. Cal, if you were lying in the Simpson Desert, dying of thirst, every single one of us would give you a drink of water. Good luck to you. Tonight I'm voting for Jerry. Just feel it's her time to go, and she gets really cranky when she's hungry, and it's bumming me out a little. Nice kid, but way too loud. Way too loud. Alicia, not only do you intimidate the hell out of the women around here, but also the men. They are scared to death of you. Most days she gets up in a good mood, but old baby, look out if she gets up in a bad mood. Jerry, 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 that knock you keep hearing on your door, it's checkout time. Out of all the people who I hung out with, you told me that we were the closest. And when it came down to it, I took care of you today. And you lied on me for no reason. And for that, I can't forgive you. And I'm ashamed to tell you that the day I told you you were like my mother, you're nothing like my mother. I like this person. I think this person has a lot of potential. But one must remember that Mother Africa is a very spiritual place. The gods and goddesses are watching and listening. Well, buddy, this is for Carl, for Frank, and for Teresa. It's only a game. Play nicely. Kelly, if I'm wrong about you, then I apologize. But I smell a rat. And my gut tells me that you stabbed me in the back and you're playing both sides. And if that's the case, then good riddance. When it's me, you'll know it. I couldn't be more excited to be casting this vote. I never wanted you to win, and now I hope you won't. If this is the last vote I cast, then at least I got a vote for you, who I've always found to be not fun to be around. Frank, you have been nothing but rude, grouchy, and a poor sport. And the last few days with you have been insufferable. Bottom line, you've been a real downer, and I can't wait to see you gone. Bye-bye. Benjamin, isn't there something you wanted to tell me? Oh, yes, Mrs. Robinson, thank you very much for the opportunity. No, no, Benjamin, the room number. 568. Graduate was my favorite movie. Congratulations. Patricia, you deserve to stay. My vote tonight is for Rob Mariano. Brother, you know, we came into this tribe with uh, not the right numbers, so we were kind of down. But um, I know soon I'll have to um, set up that debt for the Maramu tribe and give you guys all pizza and beer. I'm looking forward to it. See you soon. Checkmate, bruh. Thought you had me. So anytime you go to Vegas, bet on black. But we definitely gonna have chicken and waffles when this whole thing is done. Zoe, I'm voting you out tonight because, well, I just don't like you. The girl next door act don't work on me. You just here for the ride. Y'all trying to win a million, just like me. And I hope you go out tonight. Sean, this vote is for you. Just too much drama. I just can't stand it. You blew up an issue way beyond the scope of this game. For that reason, this vote is personal. And I truly, truly hope I never, ever see you in my life again. Sorry, girl. You get on my nerves, and I don't like being around you. Nothing personal. There's an old proverb. A wise man knows much, but says little. 
fool knows little, but says far too much. Rob, I was just beginning to like you, but unfortunately, you have to go. Sorry, buddy. No hard feelings. Ryan, I think you're a pretty good boy. But the only problem is that you're still a boy. Sometimes silence is golden. I think you're one of the nicest people I ever met, and you put what's good for others before what's good for you. Unfortunately, that also makes you a really terrible survivor player. Reality check and mate. Never underestimate the power of a woman. Here comes tonight's long distance dedication. It goes out to Rob from New York. He writes, Dear Casey, there's a mean old man in my life that's about to leave. Could you please play something appropriate for me? Well, Rob, here's your request. Na, 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 na. Hey, 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 goodbye. You lied to me, you betrayed me, you screwed me, and I'll screw you. Dana, you couldn't even stick by your word for three days. I'd actually love to go up against you in court any day because you're the worst liar. I think I've ever met in my life. Your wish has come true. You're going home, you're getting a shower, you're eating your food. Go look beautiful, be happy. We don't need you. Two girls, one brain, divide by two. Only one half wit left. I don't think all the firewood in the forest is going to keep your torch lit tonight, buddy. Nice game. Daryl, you are like the Mississippi Bell. You're fragile and know very few skills. No hard feelings, honey. Good girl. Say hello to bad guy. Everybody's got a price. Everybody's got to pay. Because a million dollar man always gets his way. you. Little John, you talk too much smack. Oh yeah, this the macho Mr. Savage going down, dig it? Hey, Chris, I didn't like you before, don't like you now. You're just plain and simply a bitch. To be the man, you gotta be the man. Woo! I'm hardcore, I'm hardcore, I'm hardcore. You're nice. Have a nice day. Sandra, I am so happy for you. You deserve it. From the first day when we were blood brother and sister, I was just thrilled to have somebody on my side. I'm glad I can be there for you now. I hope you win. Jenna, Jenna, Jenna. Your mouth just keeps going and going and going. But you better be careful, because it might bite you in that big old butt of yours. I'm a little uneasy about this boat tonight, but if everything goes through with this, I have a feeling the next time I see you, there's going to be a big finger wagging in my face. Rob C., you're a great guy, and you're really funny. But think what we need from here on out is a little more seriousness. Jerry, you're two-faced, so bye. Is this a revenge vote? Hell yeah. It's really, really easy to win with grace and dignity, but it's much harder to lose with that same grace and dignity. Let's see how you do. I'd much rather be casting this vote for your little errand boy, but you're just gonna have to do. Remember the little fight we had on day three? Where I zipped my lip. I've been waiting to do this for 27 days. So, au revoir, adios, arrivederci, sayonara, as we say in Boston, see you later. Time for you to go. And if you're wondering if you can eat and how much you can because you think that I monitor that, eat a lot. She eat a lot. Em, this vote is for you out of respect. You are the mastermind right now. So from one she devil to another, this is the vote I'm casting tonight. Rob, do you remember back in the middle of the game when you and I shook hands looked each other in the eye, and I promised you that I would never write your name down. I'm a woman of my work. Mia, your volcano erupts more than I like. Good luck in finding a husband that'll put up with you. Amy, this is the first time that I've made a completely personal vote. Your treatment of me over the last nine days has been horrible. I have little or no respect for you, and I really hope that, like a bad rash, you're finally gone. Thank you. Drama queen to the end. 
Well, Scout, you're pretty good at hiding your nasty side, but when your true colors come out, they're no part of any rainbow I've ever seen. Amy, queens get dethroned, and a lightning will strike a lone tree on top of a mountain faster than anything. Twyla, I have been waiting to fuck you off since the day I met you. I cannot believe that 36 days later, I'm finally getting this opportunity. Twyla, I am voting for you for the third time this game. You're like the cockroach that won't die under your refrigerator. Hopefully, you're going home tonight. You have drove me crazy from day one. If you go home tonight, it's gonna be the happiest night since I've been here. You got a lot of growing up to do. You're crabby and you're bitter. Bye. Craig, you're the dark horse. And it's just time for the dark horse to ride off into the sunset. Best three seconds of my day. Can't wait for you to go home. You're a girly girl. You need to go back to the shopping mall. You need to leave the jungle. You may be the golden boy, but I'm platinum. I hope it's you. Hey, Molly, if you leave this jungle now, it ain't soon enough, man. Get out now. John, you're a bully. You're self-righteous. You're rude. You're profane. No one like you deserves a million dollars. My vote's for you, buddy. This would be the outwit part of outwit, outplay, outlast. You talk about having Southern pride. Well, part of having Southern pride is being a Southern gentleman. And no, you don't have any class at all. Hey, Gary, you've been running around the jungle for two days, man, like a squirrel trying to get a damn nut, man. Do me a favor. Get the hell out of here. They always say we're a bunch of squirrels trying to get a nut. Well, sorry I had to write your name down, but I had to do what I had to do today. Hey, Lydia, you sang and you danced your way right out of the jungle. Adios. I always get my promises. You never did. I promise I ain't voting for you. Somebody has to go, and your fear of leaves was my biggest factor because we have to go on the leaves, too. Jay, you made me promise that I would vote for you, and I don't go back on a promise. I'm kind of sick of the six of you, so one at a time. You get to eat as much as you want, and I will never yell at you again. Wow, piece of work. The Alliance is by. You're a grown man. Consider a name change. Jim, I think you've truly lived up to your nickname and you've been too afraid to step up to anything. And we don't need that right now. I'm voting for Derek Zoo Zoolander. Oh, I need to take No, sorry. I'm voting for you because when you snore at nighttime, it sounds like someone's choking a walrus. Somebody along the way told you you were hot. I'm going to bust that big bubble you call a mouth and tell you you're not. I hope this is the last time I have to vote for you. Maybe we all can sleep now. This works. Wow. If not, I'm scared for my life. Johnny, you need any advice how to raise a baby to be a happy and well-adjusted child? I will be very happy to give you some advice. Thank you. I'm nothing against you, Poverty. But I think that by following Sari, you have signed your own death warrant. She's led you like a sheep to the slaughter and played you like a fiddle. I'm sorry for you. Please leave the island. Mike, you've been a loud mouth from day one, and you never seem to learn. This is because you called me weak one too many times. You said you were honest, and that's bull. Tonight, my vote is for Ozzy. Hopefully, what I gave Eliza is the real hidden immunity idol. I can't wait to see the look on your face if it is you. I thought I was the dumbest of all ever. Couldn't just frolic naked and enjoy the heavens. You had to eat the damn apple. I am voting for poverty. You gotta take some risks sometime and hope people keep their word. Oh, God. I don't even know what to say. But thank you. My mother always told me you may not be able to beat him with these all the time, but you can always beat him with this. Sorry. You're crazy. You officially go down as the dumbest survivor ever in the history of Survivor ever. I hope to God that you win. You deserve it a million times more than Parvati. And uh, love you.